Hey folks, Chip here, and we're excited to announce a brand new version of Sci-Fi Flex we're calling V2, which is a Blender add-on with lots of new features and integrations to make workflows easier. So before we get started, let's talk a little bit about some history of this product. The original motivation for creating Simple Sci-Fi was to generate displacement maps for Blender, inspired by a now unavailable product called JS Placement. That product generated 8-bit grayscale maps, but was limited in its usage due to licensing restrictions and lack of support from the developer. The support was so bad that eventually the developer just quit allowing downloads. The original aim of Simple Sci-Fi was to develop a more versatile and customizable displacement map generator capable of producing high resolution maps at full 32-bit depth quality. This would enable higher displacement levels and additional functionalities as compared to the lesser quality 8-bit maps generated by JS Placement and also allows for easy customization of displacement shapes and objects. The original Simple Sci-Fi began as a separate Blender file requiring users to follow instructions for use, meaning it could not be utilized within other scene files. As development progressed, it became apparent that not only displacement maps could be generated, but also Simple Sci-Fi could create full-blown geometry on a scale previously unseen. This capability allowed for the rapid generation of multi-million face models, resulting in intricate sci-fi scenes. To manage this process, an add-on called Flex was created by Anthony Arguis, which focused solely on generating geometry rather than displacement maps. Now, about the new update. First off, many of you will be happy to know that it now works in Blender 4.0. Many adjustments were needed to be made to the geometry generators to that were driving the geometry creation. To streamline the user experience and incorporate new features, the interface was simplified, leading to the creation of what we're calling Sci-Fi Flex V2. This updated version combines the functionalities of both Simple Sci-Fi and Flex into a single, comprehensive add-on suitable for various concept design applications. The add-on is designed to create large-scale geometry models, as well as displacement maps and texture maps. To provide a general understanding of the process, the following is an overview of the terminology and workflow for those of you not familiar. First, we collect various objects and use geometry nodes to place them on selected surfaces or faces. This is achieved through different geometry node generators and object collections. These collections of objects are referred to as D-Packs. And I should mention, many of these D-Packs come directly with Sci-Fi Flex V2, but also there are many third-party D-Packs available as well. Next, we utilize various geometry node generators to propagate the objects in the D-Packs across chosen surfaces. The add-on employs intelligent material assignment using different shaders for specific purposes. For example, complex cities can be generated using shaders that create high levels of intricacy in numerous objects. Displacement maps use shaders that render Z-depth only, while texture maps employ shaders that render different colors. And upon selecting the desired output, we recommend specific D-Packs and geometry node generators to ensure compatibility. It's important to note that new D-Packs have been added with the upgrade, including hieroglyphics that work well for creating displacement maps, as well as different rock-type D-Packs. As mentioned, the add-on is now compatible with Blender 4.0 and includes several workflow enhancements for ease of use. Just like our other products, this is a free upgrade. If you're interested in, in purchasing a copy, jump over on Blender Market and Gumroad and grab yourself a copy there. One thing I should mention is this product also comes with lots of different D-Packs, which work with kit ops so you can add hero elements into your sci-fi scenes in fact many of the renders that you've seen were generated with those same hero elements there will also be a follow-up video soon on how to use the brand new add-on if you download it definitely check out the docs because we have pretty comprehensive documentation on how the new add-on works so thanks for watching enjoy the new product and we'll see you online